Moon come is a is a wish, a wish in a bottle in a time machine. It was one of them things we were just saying. Soon come, we're gonna we're gonna realize our dreams. Now just think about what you know and what you don't and what you want from the time right now since your day. It's the tenth anniversary of Soon Come, and uh, we basically just wanna you know do it again, see what it feels like. It's like putting on an old jacket. Varsity jacket, you know. Put it on, see how I feel. On point for the serious joint. On the serious joint, I must anoint and cleanse the soul of the musical whole. Cause I don't even think back then we knew, you know, how our lives would change from doing that album. But uh, it's been 10 years. It came out at the end of 2001. So we're here now, the end of 2011. And it's the 10 year anniversary, man. And since then, I mean, everybody, we've been raising families, doing full time careers, and still traveling, still making music, still building with all our brethren, all our musician friends, and collaborating, mad collaborations all over the world. And um, so it's really cool to be able to come back together after all that time and do it. Because me and Blue don't really perform a lot. We really don't perform at all together. So the fact that we can come together and do this is going to be, as, as people say, it's going to be epic. J. Ross took the beat, it was a hit from start. Introductions come without further ado. We got Loan Catalyst, my name is Ash. You know, back then, our dreams, we were, we were driving up to New York, come down here, and I mean, sleeping like four, five to a futon, and just doing whatever, man, to just get it going, you know what I mean? We're coming up just to record it and driving right back home four hours. And we did that a lot because our label was based in Brooklyn. And uh, shout out to Seven Heads. And um, so back then, man, our dream was just to travel. We just wanted to see the world and let our music be our passport, man. And that's exactly what happened. So since then, um, I, we hit Europe a few times um, with the Japan. Uh, went all over the States, Canada. And then, you know, within maybe the last two years or so, I've been going to, maybe the last four years, I've been to Africa, went to West Africa first, you know, group of students. And last year we went to South Africa three times, performed during the World Cup, just did all of that, met Double HP as part of this Bloom Exchange. So we just, you know, like I said, it's everything we've been doing since then. And then I've also been able to use hip hop through my education experience. I went back to school. I got my master's degree, I had three children, I got married, all of this happened since that album. So, you know, even, even with that, I'm on my 10th anniversary for my marriage as well. Living in the now, do things that have you shaking your head and asking how, but the rules don't apply. When you know as well as I, that the only way to live is not being afraid to die. Just watching and being and seeing all, like he knew what he was seeing and had seen it all. So this is like, a, you know, 2011 is, is, is the year of, for me, it's the year that I'm actualizing everything that I wanted to do. I'm actually living in my moment and, and it's about doing time. my passion. I was also you know, the way, trying to bust out the gate and beat fate. But lately, I'm moving in my time, not your time, because it's not your cheese, it's mine. Yo, when I rhyme, I intertwine my mind with the divine. The moment when the divine exponent is trying, it's atonement.